everyone. It's Tuesday. And, uh, merry whatever festivities you happen to be celebrating at around this time. I honestly don't really, uh, do the whole festivities thing. Uh, I, I, I had to for a few years, but, uh, right now, I really don't care. And Nori doesn't seem to care, so we're good. <laughs> How about you? How are you all doing? I really do hope that if you're watching this, uh, you, uh, like, put it on the big TV, just get everyone in the room involved. Why not? I mean, they already hate you, so who cares, right? <laughs> uh, and I do see the flame Atronach. Oh, one hit KO, how about that? <laughs> And, uh, yes, we're back for some more Open MW. Last we left off, we were, um, exploring Kogorun. And, well, we shall continue to do so. Because, well, if I have to have a holiday tradition, my holiday tradition is to play video games. Because I like playing video games. Ah, that's a lot of magic that, that dude has. There we go. He is all out, and I am all in. Alright, let's take assaults. It is a quiet chat. <laughs> Only the, the bot has manifested itself thus far. Hello, sorceress! And, uh, Merry Christmas! Yes! <laughs> I did see your, uh, tray of stuffing that Shay, uh, posted earlier. Very, uh, very good looking. But I can say with a full belly of, um... <laughs> well, <laughs> a full belly of burger. That I am very good right about now. It's a clan fear. <laughs> I don't know what the clan is so afraid of, but then again, that's a discussion I'm not willing to get into on stream. Alright, uh, there are enemies nearby. Right, let's, um... Heal? There we go. Okay. Texramas, hello! It's another Cthulhu-esque little dude. And this lot has a lot of magic from the look of things. Is that it? Are you out? I think he's out. Takes a beating compared to everyone else. Lower Kogoran Key. We shall take that. We shall take that very much. Okay, what was he doing? Steel Greaves? Eh. That's the same ones I have. It's a Silver Claymore. Very good sword to enchant that one, but yeah, the this one I'm using deals a heck of a lot more damage. And there's nothing else of interest except for, you know, the Tower of Chair. Oh, man. I just realized it. Yeah, these are chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six chairs. Man, back in the olden times, they used a different scale to rate video games. And, yeah, apparently uh, Morrowind <laughs> was a six chair game. Go figure. Okay, so we have a key for the lower bits. And I'm guessing, oh hello, it's a Bone Lord. Well. That Bone Lord didn't do a lot, except for, uh, cursing my speed. Not for long either, but he did. <laughs> Telvani Dust Adept Helm. I guess it's just a dust mask, isn't it? Right. Ash Statue is a little too heavy for what it does. That fortifies speed. 
This detects keys. I shall detect the key then, and then exquisite robe, which I assume belonged to uh, the Bone Lord or a Lich, if you're um, into the Dungeons and Dragons, because that's the uh, representation of them. They show up in the uh, the loading screens. All right, so I guess uh, we come here to find the key to the other side. I didn't think that the locked door was. Um, a little bit odd, unless that was just an optional area that you could go to later. But no, 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 apparently. You just go to the other side first and uh, get yourself a key. So, with the key in hand, let's go to the waterworks. That's an interesting mashup of colors they have going on here. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like uh, Vivek sewers, like a lot. <laughs> and that's a frost Etronach. which means I'm going to rest right here to get my stamina back, because I'm gonna need it. Those are a bit tougher than the flame Etronox. Steel Warhammer. Well, it's seen me. I guess it's going around the other side, so I'm probably going to have a few minutes to explore this place. Whatever this place may contain. Although, I will probably find myself in a situation that I'm fighting something in front of me, and that jerk-off is going to show up right behind me. <laughs> Well, if I can keep taking things down with one hit, I think we're gonna be good. Ominous music. And a corporate stalker. I think I remember this place being a bit darker. I wonder if, um, OpenMW is still missing a few shaders here and there. That is way too slow to hit me. Oh good, you realize this. <laughs> he creates an icicle sword. Okay, I still hear the combat music, but there's nothing behind me, so this is good. This is very good, except for the fact that I have no stamina left. I shouldn't have jumped. Iron broadsword and some gold. The armor and sword are really shiny. They are. <laughs> the moment you have any kind of enchantments on your uh, equipment. Well, I went into the water and um, the other flame Atronach forgot about me. Uh, frost Atronach. If you put any enchantments on your armor, it immediately becomes like ultra shiny. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'll tell you the same thing I told your friend over there. That is way too slow to hit me. Way too slow. And we got ourselves an Ash Ghoul Slave. Slave. Ash Slave. And despite that being a bit faster, he still has a few issues hitting me unless I'm running directly at him. Oh god, really? <laughs> How did I manage to miss every single- well, I know how I managed to miss every single hit. I have no stamina. That's moon sugar. That's scuttle. I'll take the scuttle. That's a lot of different ones. Moon sugar. And some peach glass things. Do you have anything box? No, it's just a floating crate. I don't 
Um, now, there was one place in there on that side that I didn't explore, but first I'm gonna go here, see if there's anything. Oh, there's a skeleton. That bodes well. And there's some water. Actually, before I can only rest on solid ground. Cannot be in the water <laughs> at all. Oh, there's an ash slave. That has totally spotted me. We can do this song and dance all day, son. All day. Yeah. Their tracking seems to be a bit, uh, broken. Unless you, uh, just go straight at them. Well, I see something that looks like progress. There's a big hole in the wall there. Can you please? Thank you. How much is my, um, Long blade, 76, and I still miss them as much as I do. <laughs> Hello! You're a bit stronger, but you seem to have a bit less evasion, so I'm gonna kill you. Okay, that seems the way forward, so I'm gonna go... Well, it's the way down, and we kinda wanna go down, we want to find a river of lava and find the shadow shield. That's what it's called, right? I never noticed that the lower arm that's holding the sword is wiggling a bit. Was it doing that in the past stream? I don't remember. That's an interesting detail. Well, it's not really interesting, but yeah, It's like, that kind of motion, yes it is natural, because you're walking and yeah, you're... The arm that's not supporting as much of the weight of the sword would wiggle about more. Makes perfect sense. But I didn't think the game was that, um, accurate. <laughs> True to life, whatever you want to call it. Right. I shall rest some more to get my stamina back. Actually, uh, it's faster if we go in the other one. Yes. There's some crates and things on the other side. But yes, if we go here, and then we go up, and then we go up again. That's kind of where we want to be. Oh. I don't know what's up there, I, d I don't remember. I remember the general outlines of everything I need to do to beat the game, but... Oh, there's nothing. There's just bars. Okay. Well, that was a monumental waste of time. The story of my life. <laughs> Alright. And I do wonder, um, been playing the same stable version, not 45 for a while, I wonder when the, uh, the next version will hit stable. I'm kinda curious to see what they do with the shadows. Cause I know that that's missing. And that would certainly, um, Explain the, well, the jarring difference in color between the tiles. <laughs> or the, uh, the fake ambient occlusion that you can see along the corners there. <laughs> it's not actual ambient occlusion, they just darken the, um, the textures there. Clever! And it'll save some, um... Rendering cycles because it's just a texture at the moment. It's in VRAM. Don't have to worry about that anymore But yeah, no, interesting little techniques although this seem <laughs> uh, It's uh, a little too far off the axis, but what else It's Christmas the critic in me is uh, working overtime. <laughs> I don't know why, but this time of year makes me um, 
bit of a humbug, I suppose. That's the word for it. That's the word everyone uses. Right. Karma's breath. With a CH. Hello, Mr. Flame Atrodoc. How'd you do? You hit me. I deal more damage. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that fire damage didn't do a whole lot of damage. That looks like a door. <laughs> Ask your doctors if uh, <laughs> Elder Scrolls Ambient is right for you. <laughs> Bleeding heart. Is this. I guess this takes us back up. No! I walked right into that one, but that's on me. And that one de dealt a bit more damage, so I suppose there is something to be said. Right, I'm gonna go and cast me some spells to try and heal myself a little bit. Hang it. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough damage out of you. Almost killed me. Dick. Come on, you can heal yourself. Almost there. There it is. There it is. Alright. They did say the shield was in a place with lava so well there's plenty of that um oh yeah i should rest and meditate on what i have learned rest i shall then some strength obvs um speed yes and endurance there you go that makes us slightly faster and um yes i healed You know, casting spells at me while I'm distracted looking at chat's not nice. It's really not nice. Please don't do that. Stop. I said stop. Fine, be that way. Got a lot of magic. <laughs> Did you drink a potion in the middle of all that? <laughs> And another one. Right. Well, I think that's a shadow shield right there. Hello, Dagoth. What's your face? Seriously, what is your face? I do not get that at all. Ah, oh, knocked him down. Nice. <laughs> Dagoth Elam, Elam, Elam. The Shadow Shield, yes. 20 seconds of invisibility, that would have been useful a bit earlier. Restore fatigue for 5 points, 20 seconds on self. Cool. Okay, I have the Shadow Shield. And I'll take the Corpus Meat hunk. Such a hunk. <laughs> I don't know what they are. I think they're just uh, ash ghouls. Ooh, Daedric gauntlets. Unfortunately, they're the gloves and they're stupidly heavy. <laughs> uh, I don't want to drop any of those. I don't want to drop fury, that's for damn sure. Okay. How much do you weigh? 15, so 30 to carry a pair of gloves. God damn. <laughs> Um, well, they're the gloves, and I can't really use the gloves because I got better gloves on. So, yeah, no, no Daedric armor yet. I shall take everything else, though. Ooh, the Master's Lockpick. And Restore Endurance. Don't need it, but it's nice to know that it's there. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Relatives of the Elephant Man, maybe? Water walking? 
Uh, a lightning shield, an ash statue, swift swim. Yes. Eh, really don't care about the lightning shield, to be honest. <laughs> right, I found the shadow shield. That's kind of why I'm here. So. There. And what's around these parts? Because I didn't explore the last area all that well, because I thought it was going to be there, so why bother? So, now, I'm going to go back to the other area and explore it a little bit. Yes. Okay, so we came from over here. Around there. And there's a fire burning here. Another Ash Ghoul, Dagoth. What's his name? Dagoth Danel. I shall take your amulet, because they're pricey. And if anyone wants to buy them, I shall sell it to them. I don't know if Creeper actually buys the amulets, but hey. Bone Lord! Yeah. <laughs> Kinda glad I didn't fall into the pit of lava. That would have been nasty. <laughs> and there's another one down there. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. Oh yeah, I had Christmas burgers for dinner. The, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was Nori's uh, burger that had cucumber, cause she likes cucumber. I, I, I will never understand people who like cucumber, but hey, there you go. <laughs> they are uh, pretty good. They were uh, genuinely pretty, pretty good. That looks like Degathur. <laughs> and I can't move. I'm out of stamina, I'm over encumbered. Wrath of Uthol. Damage, health, magicka, fatigue, weakness to magicka. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, I need to drop this and. If I put on the shield and I use the shield, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Shadow shield, okay. Get up. This was a bad idea. Okay, I have a potion of healing, at least one, so I'm gonna use it. Endurance... Something drained my strength, and I'm not entirely sure what. <laughs> I should have waited to recover a bit more stamina before doing this. Well, he still knows I'm here. Somehow. <laughs> can I use the Chris Amare to heal myself? Yes, I can. Can you please hit him? Thank you. <laughs> Dagoth Uthol. Oh. He's got that belt, does he? <laughs> That's a really pricey belt. But what the hell happened to my strength? That's not cool. That's really, really not cool. <laughs> Pretty sure the Bone Walker drained my health a little bit, but I don't have the effect on me. There we go. That gave me back my strength. Yeah, it was a stupid bone walker. 
greater bone walkers are dicks. <laughs> Red Mountain region. Okay, that goes straight into Red Mountain. That certainly explains why uh, Dagoth Uthal was here. At least now I have a really nice belt. Speaking of which, I'm gonna equip it. Because if I use it, I get fortify health uh, for 20, 10 to 20 points for 30 seconds, resist poison for 30 seconds, fire shield for 30 seconds, and fortify fatigue. That's a really nice belt. That's a really nice belt. <laughs> okay, this is going to require some first person jumping. There we go. Okay, that just takes us back around. Okay, so, uh... We came from there. there that's going back. But I'm kind of curious to know where in Red Mountain we're gonna be once we go out that door. So I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, so we know that uh, here, at the bottom, go kill the witch. <laughs> Why would I want to kill Superman? That just seems like a bad idea. Also, that flickering. Yeah, let's not look at that too much. <laughs> There's more. Why does it flicker so much? <laughs> uh, actually, Nori didn't give him the light of day. <laughs> I know, because she told me, it's just like, eh. It's like, you know, very low budget, very Xena Princess Warrior and Hercules type of situation. It's like, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, it leads here. But yeah, apparently it wasn't her cup of tea. Go figure. Another one of them. Thank you. <laughs> Anywho, uh, this is not helping us. Because we still need to get out of the ghost fence, and there's really no way to do it from this side without levitating. And I'm pretty sure I used the last potion of levitation I had. So... Hello there. Sky dick. And one of them running right at me. I still managed to get a hit in on me, but what else? Could hear that for a while. <laughs> okay. I mean, I suppose I could follow the ghost fence all the way around. Yeah, there really is no easy way out of here. Kind of the point, really, because the ghost fence was built to keep whatever is in Red Mountain. In Red Mountain. <laughs> oh, podcasters are plenty. <laughs> All right. Doesn't even give us its feathers. I mean, that one's pretty small. If I could uh, levitate, oh. Hello. Levitate for 30 seconds. That should be enough. If I can get ourselves there, I can be on the other side. And then it's just a straight up shore. It's just a straight uh, shot north to Kogo Run and then northwest to Urshalaku. Okay. We're climbing the ghost fence, people. Hold on to your pennies. Let's find out if this works or not. <laughs> Remember kids, building walls, it doesn't keep anything out. If anything, it's just a minor hindrance. Case in fuck mothering point. <laughs> right? 
that uh, let's get closer to the ground, because if this runs out while I'm floating all the way up here, I will die. I will die very, very much. Right. Speaking of running out. <laughs> okay. So. Another ash slave down there. But where we want to go is up that way. So we shall see if we can avoid the ash slave. That would be nice. That would be very nice. And at least the sky is a bit clearer on this side of the ghost fence. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> Let's see, we're the Tribunal Temple. We have Vivek, the God King of the Dunmer, on our side. Should we kill Dagathur or should we, oh, I don't know, try and trap him in a fence around the volcanic mountain in the center of the island? Yeah, that that latter one. It doesn't sound sound contrived at all. Let let's just do that. Oh, but they couldn't defeat uh, Dagathur because only the Nerevarine can defeat uh, Dagathur. Hello. My rest was interrupted by a, sh a diseased chalk. Go for you. I ask Guar mating noises. Oh crap! Am I stuck? Okay, I'm not stuck. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. I know the console command if need be. <laughs> I don't plan on getting stuck anytime soon. Alright. So, as it turns out, I do have over 100 strength now. Thank you, gloves. Thank you very much. Right. So this is Kokoran. We've been here. So we just keep going northwest. <laughs> All of that just to end up right where we began. Oh well. <laughs> at least now we have a really nice belt. Does it have any defense at all or is it just literally clothing? Yep, just clothing. I shall be replacing that with something that has a constant effect at some point. In fact, uh, once we get to the point where um, Golden Saints actually spawn... Ah, I thought the Netch was attacking me. Ugh. But yeah, once we get uh, Golden Saints to spawn reliably... I'm going to have to go farming for the... Um, Soul gems. So I can uh, do some enchantment. Enchantment! <laughs> enchantment! <laughs> That's another game. For another stream. <laughs> Might actually do. Um, it's going to be Dark Souls remastered after this. And then. And then it might very well be um, Dragon Age. Because that's another game I like. And it is, um... It may not be in the uh, Dungeons and Dragons, um... It may not be in that kind of lore, but it is basically the, um... The best Never Winter Nights implementation. I don't know if by the time the game was released it was still using the Aurora engine, uh, but uh, I'm talking about Dragon Age Origins, because, yeah. I still haven't played Inquisitor. I started to play um, Dragon Age 2 and it was god-awful, so I stopped. I stopped that real quick. Phallus <laughs> Marion. Phallus Marion. Eh, we're too far up north. Uh, with a bit of luck, this is the Dunmer stronghold that has the Ice Blade of the Monarch. Which... Oh, hello there, Mr. Assassin. Hadn't seen one of you in a long time. And I would take your equipment, but I'm already carrying too much. Ew. 
I don't have the uh, propylon index. I should have stolen it from um, Telfir when I had the chance. Is it Telfir? What's it called? Yes, Telfir. Yeah. Hello. I don't know you. What do you want? Can you trade me? Yes, you can. No, can't trade me in that. Can't trade me in that. <laughs> And uh, train me in that again. What is this regarding? And Cedaville? while we're here, train me in that again. What uh, is this regarding Cedaville? I can keep doing this. I can. I have five thousand gold, and I'll kill you if I have to to get it back. Sixty? Can we go up to sixty? Yes, we can. Okay, sixty is good. And I learned marksman. Cool. So he trains us. All right, who the hell are you? He is an archer. It's Dunmer. Uh, Morrowind lore. My trade. You're an archer. The Nerevarines. A prophecy. And Soul's time. Right. You may speak. This may very well be. Hmm. <laughs> Tried one on the 360, I got only so far before I hit a known bug that sometimes happens. So no an issue with the media. Um, okay, so there's that archer, and the moment I walk in here, there's an ash slave out for my blood. How did I do that? I walked right into it. Okay. Tis a nice song and dance we do, isn't it? No. Well, I was saying it should have been darker earlier, but um, plenty of dark here. Hello, Mr. Corpus. Hello, Mr. Ash Slave. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> really? Summon ancestral ghost. Yeah, I'll take your ring. But the greaves, the queeras, and the boots. I can't carry all of this. So I'm going to put it here just in case his corpse disappears. Hopefully the cells won't reset in the meantime. What's in this chest? Uh, restore health. Oh, it's cheap. Mm. Fortify health. Chameleon, 5%. Eh. I'm carrying way too much. Hello, Dagoth. What's your name? I mean, I would call you, uh, Dickface, but I feel like that would be a little too much on the nose. Thank you. I won't be here all night, thankfully for you. <laughs> There's a naked elf running at me. Give me a hug. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's one of the Cthulhu-esque fellows there. Uh, can I use the shadow shield to get some fatigue? I can. And I used that right on time, because that Ash Slave almost saw me. Invisibility. <laughs> he did. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give Cthulhu a hug. Hello. <laughs> that's right, I can't let myself be hit. <laughs> Hell, that's one death for this stream. Man, those things deal a lot of damage. 
I shall use the Chrysomer's power to heal myself. <laughs> Take his amulet. You die. Oh, there's two naked elves. <laughs> Man, Cthulhu was having a party. <laughs> naked elves, rat candles, Cthulhu esque looking fella. Yeah, no, th th this was a party. <laughs> I walked in on something. <laughs> <laughs> and it was nasty. Well, the, here are their clothes. And there's a journal there. Or, no, it's just a book. And a chest with some money. A Telvani Bug Musk. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'll take that. It just gives us personality if we drink that. It's amazing. <laughs> Okay. Ash statue. Can't I take the big one? No, can't take the big one. <laughs> Send you the Christmas gift via DM once it's done. Thank you, Mir. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. There's a door here. It's the upper level. What's in the upper level? I hear footsteps and whispering. It's the Corpora Stalker. Yeah, those guys are a pain in the butt, only for if you're really low level and you still haven't become immune to all diseases, because they're that's about the only thing that they can do is give you all the diseases. <laughs> There's two of them there. And they've both seen me now. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I am the chosen one. <laughs> I'm dodging all of the bullets. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was my uh, best Neo impersonation right there. Another corporate stalker. No one else? All right. They left the corporate stalker to protect the chest. Yeah, that chest had crap in it. <laughs> really cheap clothes, too. Ugh. Well, let's go find a way to the roof. There's gotta be a way to the roof, right? Hello. It's another corporate stalker. There's a way to the roof. <laughs> this is still a better love story than the Matrix Online. <laughs> Uh, you know, Control Alt Delete had a lot of uh, bad moments, hashtag loss, uh, but they also, uh, I think it was them um, that did, or if it wasn't them, it was um, Penny Arcade. It was one of the two, but one of them had a comic about the Matrix Online, and it's like the first person logs in, he's like, his name is Neo, and then the second person uh, who logs in is like, the one, and then it's uh, the two, and Neho, and like, all variations thereof, and <laughs> I thought that was just genius. Very well done. I want to say it was Control Alt Delete, but I did, it may very well have been Penny Arcade. But yeah, no, that, that, that was genius. Right, so we keep headed northwest. It's going to be a heck of a fall. See if we can survive it. 
Yes, we can. Oh, hello, Sky Dick. <laughs> ah. Mid-air kill. There's another Kaguri up ahead, and... Something is... Moaning. <laughs> That's... What's your name? Scrib. That Scrib is making noises, but that's not the moaning I was hearing earlier. Okay, there's some Dwemer ruins up ahead. And there's the Daedric ruins, which means the camp is right there, I think. Yes, yes it is. How about that? <laughs> We're almost back at Urshalaku camp that I can um, talk to... Sul Matur. Uh, tell him that I got the shield. I don't know if he wants the shield or not. I think I'm going to have to kill him at some point. But that's all good. That's fine. I don't remember if you have to kill him or... Mm. I do not remember. Okay. Dwemer, Daedric, and I, an Ashlander camp. You know, if it weren't for this being in, you know, the Ashlands... This would would have been a nice um little screenshot right here. With the two ruins next to each other. But no, it's all brown and grey with green uh Nyx hounds running around. Matsera. Nothing, Dunmer. Don't worry about it. Right? <clears throat> yes, third trial. I am impressed. The three tokens you have brought me, you may keep them. Oh, he lets me keep them. Nice. I passed the warrior's test, and I will give you the secret of the third trial. In caverns, dark Azura's eye sees and makes to shine the moon and star. This is the third vision. And you must go to the cavern of the incarnate, a place sacred to Azura, and look for the moon and star. The secret of the Cavern of the Incarnate is set in a riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door and the star is the key. This riddle is wisdom's test. Take counsel of the wisdom of the tribes and you shall find a way. Seek the Cavern of the Incarnate, gain the moon and star, and bring it to Nibani Maesa. Take with you my blessing, and the blessing of our tribe. Malipu Ataman's belt. Oh, he too has given me a belt now. What does your belt do? Restore health two points for 30 seconds. Oh, it is a nice belt. And fortify agility. Please go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. Of course you are. It is a nice belt, but um, as it turns out, the belt of Heartfire is much better. Much better. <laughs> right. Tell me about the third trial. <laughs> I sent you to seek the third trial. He told you the shrine to Azura called the Cavern of the Incarnate. I cannot tell you how to find this place. But he has said you may seek the wisdom of the tribes and the wisdom of the wise woman I may share with you. Perhaps uh, I know I can help you with these lines of the riddle. The star is the key? Ah, the star is Azura. Azura's star appears in the sky only in the magical hour between day and night, dawn and twilight. So, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. The dream is the door. You say the star is a key, Azura star, then the door uh, is seen only at dawn and dusk, and the key that opens it. Alright. 
So yeah, you can only enter the cavern at dusk and dawn. Please talk. You have a propylon index. I was just in Volinvarian. Yeah. Right. I'll have to go collect those at some point. Just so I can use the um, Dunmer um, strongholds as uh, fast travel points. Right. So they want me to go find the Cavern of the Incarnate and they're not giving me anything. Basically find the Ashlander camps and ask about it. I'm pretty sure it's around um, on the top top right side of the dark splotch on the map. It's there somewhere. But yeah. They want us to go fumbling around the other um, the other places. But I shall not be doing that. Instead, I'm going to use a Divine Intervention scroll. Divine Intervention. Yes. This puts us in cull. Yes, yes it does. Cool. And we can go to Balmora, so I can go to totally my house, you guys. Totally my house. I totally didn't kill the person who used to live there or anything. Um, but, yeah. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna drop some stuff, I will um, go to Caldera, find Creeper, and sell him 5,000 worth of stuff. Alright, Alderaan, and from Alderaan to Balmora. Then from here, we go to the Mage's Guild to Caldera. Sell some stuff to Creeper. Um, heavy stuff, preferably. Can't sell him the ebony um, weapons. I I need to find the um, the crab. Your actions precede you, Outland. I actually need to find the crab because this is not cool. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm intrigued. Travel to Caldera. Well, hello there. A pleasure to meet you. And I might keep some of the ebony weapons as like uh, barter ah, coins, friend. because that is going to be very much necessary at some point. Totes your place. Please ignore the asset stickers on the furniture. Yes. <laughs> uh, many creatures beyond the oh, it's the Wolf Queen. Yes. Fight well. I shall fight well. I shall fight. Well. Right. A peril. <laughs> Sixth house. Amulets. Tons of them. Alright. These are way, way too pricey. Dumber shield. You can have it. Um, expensive belt. You're not buying that. Now, do you buy these? He does. How about that? And do you have any dart? Uh... Yeah. Not selling you the fury, not gonna happen. Um And I think that sort of runs uh creeper out of money. That's way too much to only get a teeny tiny little bit of return. Um That's Dagoth Cup. Hmm. I need to get a soul trap weapon and actually start filling up some soul gems. Citizen. Meh. That's kind of the reason why I wanted to defeat Umbra is because he does have a um the Umbra's ability is soul trap. Do you have something to say, Outlander? You don't enchant. You don't enchant. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? Which one of you is the enchanter? Greetings to you, Cyrodiil. There you go. Okay. He doesn't want to trade with me because uh, he's a dick. Elitist little what can I do prick. Right. 
If I could find a really good uh, enchanted item, I would totally buy it. Ew, I know I stole from you in the past. No, that's not what I want. What I want is, what do you got? A water spear. Yeah, you have shit. Right, never mind. I was wondering if I could trade one of the ebony weapons for something that's actually useful, but doesn't look to be the case. You, Meldor. You don't have anything useful either. God damn these people. Uh, mostly light and medium armors. Eh, no. Go ahead. That doesn't teach me anything. Could steal his money, but me. Go ahead. As long as I have stuff to sell the creeper, as long as I have those uh, sixth house amulets, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Let's see, see the pawn shop, maybe. She has some stuff. No, no, she does not. Ah, I'm damn missing. it. I was inside, um. Oh, I totally have uh, 4.7 thousand channel points. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but I was inside the ghost fence and I could have gone to um, the ghost fence, stronghold, keep, whatever it's called. Uh, and I bought some of the really high level equipment that they have there. Right. Since I didn't, because I'm a big idiot, I'm going to put this... Oh yes, we gotta put sideways. I'll put it on the floor. All right, we're going to put the spear like right here. Okay, a bit further up. Too much further up. I put it on the floor now because. There we go. That'll do. And we'll put the sword here. Yes. And that actually clears up a bunch of space. Uh, Weight-wise, anyway. And the fury. I need to drop the fury, too. Just because as long as I have the Chris Mare, it's good. Oh, it's clipping down. Eh, what else? Um... You can see the blade kind of edge there. It's not broken, it's just, yeah. Right, the Daedric Crescent. That one is... <laughs> Take the book, and let's put the book on the corner here. Hmm? There. Uh, right. That's good enough. We, huh, we're still carrying a bunch of stuff. Right. Take this shirt, take this book, and let's start stacking books, shall we? Nerevar, Moon and Star, that one might be worth selling. A Fae Falcon too. That one, and that one. Not a whole lot of weight gone, but it's a start. Oh yes, the armor. <laughs> Alright, let's put the glass shield on the floor there, and the glass cuirass there. Expensive belt, expensive shirt. Um, I'm gonna keep that helmet. Ancestor ring. The belt, what's his face just gave me. Caius's ring, which I will keep because that's very good. <laughs> as long as I have the callus of the Holy Grail, I'll be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. 
speaking of chalice, I am carrying this thing around, and I'm gonna leave it right there. Because it looks pretty. Words of the wind, words of the wind goes right on top of the rest of the books. There. Completely um, askew. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I think that about does it. Oh, I already have the boots. Cool. Yes, I really need to find that crab. I'm gonna have to go look in the wiki, because clearly it wasn't in the islands that I thought it would be on. So it, it's around there somewhere. But hey, look at that. Uh, well, this was the uh, Christmas special um, stream of OpenMW. If you didn't see anything special with it, that's... Well, that's your problem. That's like, your problem, dude. Uh, or do that, as the case may be. But hey, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I shall see you tomorrow. Because, despite being Christmas Day tomorrow, we're still going to be having some uh, Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. So, tune in around the usual time. Uh, we'll be live, we'll be talking about the Linuxy stuff, and... Well, on Thursday, I don't know if Jordan's doing anything um, this Thursday, but maybe he is, maybe he isn't. On Friday, Ven's going to be doing the uh, Friday Night Fubar, OBS, uh, and he's doing Jackbox because it's the last um, it's the last Friday of the month. So if you want to join in, you gotta let him know beforehand. Shout at him on Discord, shout at him uh, on Twitter, and uh, yeah. Of course, if you're a Patreon, you get first picks, so if you'd like to participate, make your voice heard, so to speak. And of course, on Saturday, uh, it's Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show, the big show. And with Linux Gamecast Weekly, that pretty much wraps up uh, 2019, as far as Linux Gamecast is concerned. And yeah, we will continue on into the new year. Same bad channel, same bad, or same foul-mouthed, um, our same foul-mouthed selves as always. That could have gone better as a send-off, but hey, that's what you signed up for. See you, everyone. Bye.